Assalamualaikum and good day. Today, I will talk about three important principles to achieve sustainable development from an Islamic perspective. The first important principle is to maintain a good relationship with our Creator or, or God. Actually, this is the most important relationship that we need to maintain in order to sustain a good life. Not just in this world, but also in the hereafter. In Islam, we believe in the concept of unity of God that we say there is no other God worthy of being worshipped except to worship Allah Ta'ala. Allah is the one who creates the world. He is the one who provides sustenance. He deserves to be worshipped. By maintaining this good relationship, God, Allah, would give us more in this world. Where Allah mentions in Al-Quran about La in shakartum la azidannakum wa la in kafartum inna azabi la shadid. If you are thankful, Allah will give you more. That's the first relationship the second important relationship that we need to maintain in order to achieve sustainable development number two is to have a good relationship with other mankind our interaction with other peoples for example with our employees with our neighbors the relationship between leaders and followers and all sorts of human relationships need to be conducted in a good manner and to consider diversity amongst human race so that Rather than competing to destroy one another, we compete, we complement, and we develop this world in a more respectable and cooperative manner. The third guiding principles to achieve sustainable development is to have a good relationship with the environment here how we utilize resources such as the forest water and all sorts of minerals air sea need to be done in such a way that we consider the ability of the environment to tolerate our activities in this case one example could be whether the resources is renewable or not need to be considered wisely what is interesting in this case from an islamic perspective we give more dimensions to the meaning of sustainable development unlike the conventional discussion that is currently just focusing on the environmental part of it and at the moment there is also a rising tension in relation to how or what economic activities has done to human relationship divorce cases suicidal and so on are among the issues prevalent in the conventional context and in a more extreme situation science from western ideology rejects rejects the existence of god therefore from islamic perspective these three important dimensions need to be maintained in order to achieve sustainable development.
Islam broadens the scope, the horizon of what sustainable development is all about. It's not just focusing on the environment. Rather, more important is that how mankind can develop him or herself to, to be a good servant of Allah, abd, and then to manage this world as his caliphs, the khalifa, manager, representatives of Allah on this world, with the responsibilities to establish a deen and to manage this universe according to the deen of Allah, that is Islam. I think that's all for this time. See you again, insha'Allah. Wassalam.